Oh uh, yeah, so if I uh, if I hit 400k by let's say this time tomorrow, I'll go ahead and do cool maths games. Not possible. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Please don't mention cool math games ever again. And now the comment section will be nothing but cool maths games for four months. Yo, what's the hippity happity, guys? It's me. I saw our productions back in the world of yeah, you guessed it, Hearts of Iron 4. And today we'll be looking at the 1989 start date mod, which is an expansion to Millennium Dawn. Oh, but 1989? That's a bit of a random start date. What the hell happened in 1989 worth there being a mod about? Thankfully, I found a BuzzFeed article that is 13 incredible things that happened in 1989. And guess what, guys? Madonna won Best Direction for her video X. Express yourself! Oh, so something about the fall of communism, who gives a damn about that? Oh boy, do you know what I like? Germany. Do you know what I like more? TO GERMANY! So in 1989, things look pretty similar to what they look like nowadays. I mean, sure, there's two Germanys and the Russia's called the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, but what does that even mean? Also, speaking of confusing and very weird people, what the hell, Gorbachev? Now, I was gonna play as the US because they do have George H.W. Bush, and it is tempting to play as Jeb Bush's dad, but I don't think that's gonna be it for today. Instead, we're gonna do what I think is probably the main focus of the mod, which is the Soviet Union. Despite the lack of names for any of the focuses, they, they probably have put the most work it, it, they haven't put any work into this at all. Oh, god damn it. So over here on the right is the historical way that Russia went. And uh, I don't think we're going to need to focus on that so much because we've got some Sov underscore nostalgia to do. AKA a social studies class in 2018. Now, just like Millennium Dawn, we have an army and it is mostly comprised of stuff that was just really annoying to build. So we're probably going to have to rework all of these templates, which again, I'm sorry, why don't you ever play Millennium Dawn? It's because it sucked. Oh, say hello, we still got the Warsaw Pact. I'm sure that'll last. Oh, well, there goes Mongolia. They're conservative now, and um, we also lost Bulgaria, and um, I don't think this Warsaw Pact's gonna last. Yeah, not looking too good for Russia. Uh, not looking too good at all. I also sent some volunteers to try and prop up this Afghan Soviet government, but um, for some reason, the Afghans have better tanks than me. I, I'm not kidding. I'm getting pushed back by Islamic Mujahideen tanks. Boy, I sure do wonder where they got those from. Yeah, that whole Iron Curtain thing, not so much an Iron Curtain anymore. It's kind of just me desperately holding on to East Germany and Poland and, um, yeah, none of them want to hang out with me anymore. Right, I know what you're saying. Afghanistan destroyed the USSR completely, but don't worry guys if we just go in again What could go wrong? I mean, I mean literally it's a video game So <laughs> this game cannot accurately represent all those Afghanistan people just hanging around behind mountains shooting at Soviet guys There we go. We did what the Soviets could never do We subdued Afghanistan and put a socialist government in charge of course so that that's not really Kind of making up for the fact I lost uh, half the Iron Curtain over here and Germany now. I, I just realized Germany's gone. Ah, yeah. Um, okay. Nobody loves me. Ah, uh, might as well do the cities of the revolution. St. Petersburg? Nah, let it actually. Uh, I actually kind of prefer St. Petersburg and... I don't think we should really bring Stalin back up, should we? So, since this is 0% world tension, there's actually no reason for me just not to declare war on these ex warsaw Pact countries and just bring them back into the fold, because... I, why not? I, I'm not like collapsed like the Soviets did in real life because this is a video game. Can't really, can't really uh, actually portray that one. Just like the Afghan hills. And nobody was any the wiser. Now, as much as I want to believe this is gonna bring Lenin back from the dead. Oh, uh, oh, it, de it definitely doesn't bring Lenin back from the dead. Yeah, hey, Romania. I don't think the small ship programs for you unless they're really small ships to get down this river. Uh, so now we've got generic Russian man number two because Gorbachev unfortunately had to go not quite communist enough are you Mr. Gorbachev? Yeah, so I didn't really get a choice on the East Germany matter But I am gonna go ahead and get ourselves a new choice now at least I, I think that's what this means So I've underscored demand East Germany. It could mean anything. Oh, yeah Well, Yugoslavia is doing what Yugoslavia does best just kind of 
falling apart. I, I might have to go and clean that up at some point too, but I, yeah, I don't really care. Right, time to make that Hungarian revolution look like a joke once again. Also, you know, while we're in the neighborhood, might as well just take the checks out because, you know, it's Millennium Dawn. They can't actually build any units. Now, Poland is still technically Marxist as Leninist, but their uh, political party pie over here is, um, it's not looking how I'd like it to look. So, uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna change that up. Also, you know, now those factions that just popped out Yugoslavia, now they're just fighting each other. Just... You know, just you go things. I don't even know what happened in that war, but now there's another one. They're, they're just literally spawning it. Wait a second, isn't that like the leader of the Philippines in the base game? I swear that's like the leader of the Philippines in the base game. Yeah, sorry, Poland. I love you. I leave you. You were the last one to actually stay in my faction, but um, I just really need to know that you're actually gonna 100% stay forever. Oh yeah, you remember that Warsaw Uprising? Well, uh... <laughs> I'm making that look like a joke and a half. Well, that's Poland done with, and I think we've actually consolidated and kind of made our Warsaw Pact, like, a lot stronger than it was before. But, you know, we're missing a couple more countries. Yeah, so I, d I decided to go in on Yugoslavia after all, because um, I, I was just incredibly confused what was going on down here, that I, I just needed to come in and sort it out just a little bit. There you go, much better. It, could, it actually could be a lot better, but it kind of makes me look prettier on the map. I'll give it that. Yeah, I completely forgot about the fact Mongolia put that conservative government in charge. I I'm sorry, Mongolia, but conservatives are literally Nazis nowadays, so I you just can't be doing that. Tips, mega hat. Ooh, raw Marines! Yeah, this point, I'm basically just map painting the entire game, but there's, there's nothing else happening, so why not just keep invading everybody? Also, why the hell does the leader of Iran look like he's about to take me for a four-course meal date and then uh, let me ride in his Porsche? Uh, I don't know about this one, Germany. Just, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm scared of you, Germany. I'm actually running out of people to invade now, but I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking out Finland. In fact, um, I, I, I am actually just gonna go ahead and do it. But when this happens, it means that they're gonna call the EU into the war, which means, uh, <laughs> Oh, it's time! You see, while Finland wasn't much of a problem, the rest of the EU has actually been a bit of a thorn in my side, especially since they're just death stacking troops everywhere. I like how there is not a single Danish person here defending it. There's Greek people here. There's the Spanish people. There's nuclear hellfire. But not a single Dane! Yeah, I think Greece probably regrets sending their only, like, few troops up to Denmark to defend it now that their homeland is completely empty. Alright, I'm also gonna go ahead and fix that problem about who the hell owns Gibraltar and who should own it, because I think it's Soviet. Yeah, well, alright, it might as well go ahead and repent some of these sins off, because, uh, we're pro we we've probably killed quite a few people at this point, let's be honest. Well, never thought I'd see that one in my life. Who the hell is drone striking in the English Channel? Yeah, drone strikes or not, what I always say about Millennium Dawn, is the AI really can't manage their templates, so you can just roll over everyone with a couple of your own good templates that don't have 10 million different things in. Oh, I nuked Northern Ireland so hard that they actually just turned into England. Huh? <laughs> they, they finally mutated and were to what they really want to be. Now, I'm going to assume you probably all know what I'm doing right now, but I am slowly working my way to America. And good news, again, the AI still isn't keeping up with their templates, so I'm just stomping all over them. More importantly, though, the American Capitals in Houston, where it belongs. Oh, there we go. There's America and Canada all done with. I don't, do I actually need anyone else to go ahead and capitulate? Uh, where, oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to take out Japan as well. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I like how the cursed submarine disaster has actually fired, which is funny because I've lost about 50 submarines at this point, not let alone one. Yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit worried exactly how the 2000 Sydney Olympics happened, considering the US and Russia apparently did the most medals. Um, d were we shooting each other whilst running, maybe? I, I don't know how this works. Well, there goes the free world. And I gotta say, I'm pretty sure I've made a pretty cool post-World War free world here. Uh, I've definitely liberated quite a few people everywhere just to make things uh, really pretty and to please you guys who just say, stop annexing everyone. Also, I'm, I'm just gonna put this out there. I don't think that is the leader of communist Wales. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like an Iraqi leader from the base game or something, and th that definitely doesn't look like an Irish person. There's just something spectacular about releasing the Confederate Socialist States. <laughs> Isn't that the leader of Ireland? What? 
Yeah, I'm gonna real with you, the uh, Free People's Republic of Quebec is ruled by Santa Claus. Well, I think that's about all they wrote for this one, and um... I think this mod needs a lot more work, especially for a sub-mod of Millennium Dawn. You think they wouldn't have much to do, but alas, not, not much happened, and uh, there's not a lot of work put into it yet, but I'm sure it might go somewhere. Um, if you, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and... 400k subscribers tomorrow, we'll do cool maths games! <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what one plus one is. We're not doing cool maths games.